What's good, my people? Today we're talking about how to get to the NFL, how to get to the league, the unconventional route. Because the conventional route is obviously going D1, playing good, get, having great stats, having great highlights, and then getting drafted. That's the conventional route. The unconventional route is the route that I had to take. Uh, some things happened in college with me. Some things were said about my character from coaching staff or the strength and condition of coach, whoever it was. But that kind of made scouts and teams like shy away from me. So I didn't get drafted. I didn't even get an invite to the combine. I didn't get an invite to the senior bowl. So all those things was weighing on me. I'm like, man, I ain't getting nothing. So this is the unconventional route. No combine invite. Right? No combine invite. No senior bowl invite. No draft. So how do you get there is the question. How I got there was I let my work ethic shine. It didn't matter what anybody said about me. When they saw me in person and when they saw my work, they said, wait, this person looks like a hard worker. So I made sure I worked as hard as I could. I was in the best shape I, would, I could ever be in. I was so strong. I was so fast that teams had to give me a chance. And the Pittsburgh Steelers came to my pro day. So the Steelers saw me at my pro day. And um, so they already knew me, they saw me, and it was easy for them to pull the trigger once somebody in camp got hurt because I didn't even get an invite to rookie minicamp. Most of the times people get invited to rookie minicamp for a tryout. I didn't even get that. I sat at home until July 8th. So think, the draft is in April. April, nothing. May, nothing. June, nothing. July, I'm sitting there. So that whole time I'm grinding or I'm working. I'm, I'm on the field every day. I'm in the weight room twice a day. I'm working because I know once I get my opportunity, I'm not going to let it waste or go to waste or not be ready and say, man, I should have, I could have done more. I should have done more. No. So I was ready. Uh, so that's the number one thing I would tell you. Be ready. You have to be ready. You have to be in such good shape that they have to sign you because you will get a call. People are going to get hurt. You will get a call. And when you do get that call, you have to be ready. So when I got my call, I went into training camp because I think LeGarrette Blount and Le'Veon Bell were both hurt. So they needed a count body is what they call it. Before I even got there, I asked the guy, I'm like, how much should I pack? And he told me only one week's worth. So they figured once Le'Veon and LeGarrette was healthy, I was going to get sent home. And I knew that. So I was like, nope, it's not happening. So I packed for a couple weeks because I knew. I said, you know what? I know how hard I've been working. I'm, I don't have to worry about that. So once I got into camp, I started killing it. And then they cut everybody except me. So you have to be ready for your opportunity. I get DMs from free agents all the time. Like, hey, man, can I get advice? Like, I need advice. I'm just telling you, bro, be in the best shape you can be in because you're going to be on special teams and you're going to be on every special team you're going to be on. So that's how you get your foot in the door, special teams. So if you can't run up and down that field over and over and over and then go do offense or and then go do defense, you're not going to make it because you're going to end up pulling a hamstring, pulling a groin, and if you get hurt, it's over with. Ultimately, that's what happened to me, which is number two. Tip, don't get hurt. You can't get hurt. How to make it to the league and how to stay in the league, don't get hurt. Especially going the unconventional route because they didn't put any money into you. They aren't invested in you. So there is nothing that's going to keep them from keeping you. If they didn't give you any money and you get hurt, uh, we're just going to bring in somebody else. If they give you $10 million and you get hurt, do you think they're going to cut you and bring in somebody else? No. So you have to realize, you know what, I can't get hurt. So you have to think about that when you're training too. I have to do enough to make sure my hamstrings are strong, all my joints and ligaments are strong, everything's strong enough to go through everything I need to go through so I don't, I don't get hurt. But it's football, right? Obviously, it's going to happen to me. I hurt my shoulder, it was out a year, and then it was over. I couldn't get back in. Then I went to Canada and did all of that, but you can't get hurt. Do not get hurt. I'm going to tell you that. Do not get hurt. I'm not saying go out and play fearful, play a timid, but you just have to realize, you know, if I get hurt, it could be over with. Number three, how to make it to the league. Get in good with the special teams coach. Like I said, you're going to be on all of the special teams. 
once you get your tryout, you make the team or you're in camp, meet with the special teams coach every day. Learn. Because when they're in that meeting at the end of camp and they say, hey, who do you like? Because the starters are set. There's going to be 22 starters. And then that guy behind him, he's set. So there's going to be like 30 to 40 positions that's already cemented. So those last 10, those last 12, 15, and then practice squad are up in the air. And he's going to ask the special teams coach and the strength coach, hey, who do y'all like? If the special team coach barely knows your name, you're getting cut. If you didn't make any plays on special teams, you're getting cut. Because you're thinking, oh, I'm going to just focus on offense, focus on defense. You aren't the starter. You might end up being the starter. But at this, at this juncture in the timeline, you're a rookie free agent, undrafted, trying to make the team. You're going to play on special teams. So you have to know and build a relationship with the special teams coach. You have to. Actually, that should be the number one thing. But I'm going to keep it at number three because it's in no particular order. But number three, get in good with the special teams coach. Once you get in there, once you get your foot in the door, meet with the special teams coach every day. Stop by his office. Hey, coach, uh, just wanted to know, see is there anything I can learn or I can watch some film with you. They're going to enjoy that, and they're going to appreciate that. And when they get in that meeting, they're going to stand on the table for you and say, Coach, we need that guy. He's a hard worker. He wants to learn. Next thing you know, you've made the team, and now you're in the league. So that's pretty much it, bro. Number one is work hard, work hard as you can. Make sure you're in shape, bro. Right? Make sure you're in shape. You can go out and do all of these drills, fancy footwork drills and catching drills and all of that position-specific stuff, but run, run, lift, be in shape because you're going to be tired during preseason. Right now, during COVID, I don't even know how next season is going to look, but just my route, preseason is hard because the starters aren't going to play, so it's going to be all you. So they're going to see, hmm, how bad does this kid want it? If you're out there making plays first quarter, second quarter, third, four, third quarter, fourth quarter, and there's no drop-off, they're going to have to say, wow, his conditioning is on a professional level. We need him. Number two, don't get hurt. Protect yourself. Be smart. Don't play timid, but be smart. Right? You have to think about prehab. Y'all hear about LeBron and Russell Wilson spending all this money on their body. Do it. Ask, meet one of the vets, say, hey, man, what do you do to take care of your body? And do it. Because that stuff, those hits will accumulate and you will get hurt. You can't get hurt as an undrafted free agent going the unconventional route. You can't get hurt. And number three, become best friends with the strength and conditioning coach. Become best friends with the special teams coordinator. Because they are going to stand on the table for you when it comes down to those last 10, 15 roster spots. Do that. So I hope I helped you. If you're a high schooler and you're watching this, keep grinding. Focus on your academics because you can't play football forever. But what's up here will remain. So you got to focus on your academics. If you're in college, focus on your academics. And start to take football seriously as a job. Because once you get to the league, it's your job. So focus on ac academics and also start to lean into football, taking it more seriously, spending time watching film, learning. Because once you get into the league, if you've already adjusted to watching film, it's going to be that much easier because you're going to watch a lot of film. You have to prepare. It's not just physical. It's mental, too. If you know what somebody's going to do before they do it, that makes your job easier. If you know, if you play running back and you know what linebacker is going to blitz or what safety is going to blitz, it's going to take so much stress off you because now you're not like panicking or whatever. If you're a DB and you know, oh, okay, on third and five, if they line up in the slot, he might run his route. Or if he's out wide and it's third and ten, you know, I need to hang around the sticks because I know they don't have time to do a lot because it's third and ten. We're going to go on a blitz. He can only run a certain route. There's things that you have to learn. And when you watch film, you'll learn those things. It'll make the job easier for you once you get out there. So 
That's it, man. I hope I helped somebody, bro. I hope I motivated somebody because I want all of y'all to make it, bro. I want y'all to. And I want you to make it and stay in there. It's not that hard to get in. It's hard to stay in there. So I hope y'all make it. I hope y'all watch this and take it to heart. Take some notes on it. I am the Archbishop. You're blessed. Remain blessed. Three.